I'm a retired electrician. Um, I've done all sorts of things. I've worked on boats where there's like ships building and that sort of thing, where there's been a lot of um, well welding fumes and asbestos and all sorts of nasty stuff. But in that, you do a lot of welding. I've done a lot of. I work for myself most of the years, and you know you need something done. You, you don't call a welder up. You do it yourself. A bit cautious when I welded a galvanised stuff because I've always known that's not necessarily carcinogenic but, but dangerous. So, but up until now I didn't know a thing about the welding fumes being carcinogenic. So from and I still do a lot of welding just you know for my own self. So you know, I, I've never heard of that before. So I'm, I'm aware of the UV. I would take big precautions these days. And I live in the a lot of the time I live up north, which is you know you're in very very hot temperatures and then you've got to put on all these gloves and heavy stuff which is uh, annoyance but it's you know with now with knowledge that I'm not a tough guy anymore <laughs> I, uh, I take a lot more precautions but I'll be doing that for the fumes now. I might have started off welding with a shirt and when it got too hot I'd take everything off because it was too hot and, um, and then because these days you pay for it. Majority uh, BCCs, but the odd, the odd SEC, yeah. Fortunately, I haven't had melanoma yet, but I mean, you know, time's yet to come. Yeah, the odd ones, the odd ones on the legs and 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 back, um, but the majority has been probably where I've been exposed to the UV light from welding, I guess. And I've got a lot of uh, keratosis and that sort of thing too. There's still a lot of sun damage there. Just go down to Good Sam's and buy old high vis stuff, which is very very thick and and. Um, and, and long sleeves, they come right down to here, and then so I, I wear one of those um, thick, cottony type things. Um, the head doesn't matter because it's in a helmet anyway, and, and a pair of gloves, which I find everything very awkward to do like that, but you know, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have it awkward than be dead too. So I go regularly now for, to doctors and, um, and get checkups, but when you get to my age too, you, you've got a lot of war wounds and, and, and a lot of old people marks that come up everywhere. When you're young, you're bomb-proof. You know, you, nothing can hurt you. I, I used to cut asbestos with, with, um, uh, with friction saws and, and weld without, with just shorts on and all that sort of thing. Well, you can't hurt me, you know, I'm, I'm too tough. Uh, it's only when you get a little bit of maturity you start thinking, oh, they, you, know, you pay for it, basically.